for those that don't have season tickets, you can use my code talking Friars $20 off your seat geek order with the season tickets. That was a bad time for the Padres to send out that message. I mean, you get embarrassed by the Dodgers. Was that, was that Sunday or was it Monday that they sent that email out? Uh, I think it was, I, I, I woke night. up to it. Yeah. So okay. I woke up to a Monday morning and I saw that and I'm reading that email from Gruppner and the tone of it was kind of really set me aback. It was kind of like, you know, Hey, these tickets are coveted. If you know, we have a waiting list. So if you don't sign up, big deal, yep. we've got a waiting list. That was kind of what I felt like when I was reading that, that email and uh, kind of, kind of made me mad. You know, this was, you know, the last three seasons now we've had increase, you know, like, yep. I'll just, you know, I'll tell you, I mean, we have, we're in the home plate club. So obviously really expensive seats. So, you know, our first season in 2021, the seat prices were 375. I'm like, okay, that's a lot, but whatever. And then, so then the 21 to 22, they made a moderate increase. And I understand that. I'm like, Hey, I get it. You know, this is a hot commodity now. Okay. So we go from 375 to 425 a seat. And then, so 2022 to, no, 20, sorry, 21 to 22, it goes, well, I'm trying to think here. Yeah, we're in 23. 21 to 22, it goes from 425 to 525. I mean, that's like a wow, 40 yeah. cent. So I'm like thinking, okay, they've just, you know, increased my seat by $150 um, in the course of two seasons you know, okay, they, they gotta be happy with that, you know, in the home play club, they did a full renovation of the whole restaurant and bar area downstairs. The lounge area looks great. Um, but I'm like thinking, okay, that's gotta, you know, that's fine. And, and then, you know, just going into the season, I'm, I'm sure they've already had this decided before the season start, we're going to ask for another 10% from them. And, and they're just going to keep going probably until, they can't start sell. They can't sell home plate club tickets anymore, you know, and that's just, uh, it, it was just, like you said, the timing was terrible. It's like, read the room, you guys. I mean, whether you already decided or not, you can change your mind really fast. Um, you've already just, I mean, now, so, you know, in the three seasons I've had home plate club seats, you know, we've, we have about a 65% increase from my first season to this season and nothing to show for it other than an NLCS run where we kind of just got lucky and got a little hot. So, yeah. Yeah. It's, and it's not just the, the timing that was bad. I, I get that too, but it's, I'm obviously with the platform that I have, there's a bunch of season ticket holders that reach out to me as well. And it's like, yeah, mine went up 30%, 35% just from last year. Yeah. Not going to be able to do this. We'll see if they actually have this long wait list. And so I think, look, they do have a, a wait list, but I just question how long that is. And do those fans, when they get the opportunity and they actually see, okay, it's going to be this much and they're going to keep increasing it, how long are they going to stay around? You know, it's yeah, just, I mean, you see the, you know, with the wait list, are they, do they know how much season tickets are? They probably don't. They're just thinking they're going to go in. And then they're going to start to see real prices. And those people on the wait list are like, yeah, hold up. You know, I'm not going to pay this much money for this underperforming team. Um, so that wait list can diminish pretty quick. I mean, I've seen, you know, just stuff that I've seen on Twitter. There's a handful of, you know, season ticket members are like, hey, I'm, I'm done. I'm not renewing. And, you know, there's more for than just the team, you know, mm -hmm. like we, we, we signed up their home plate club. It's a, I don't know if you've ever been down there before on a um, tour, but not like, for yeah, the seat. I'll have, I'll have to have you down there for a game. Um, it's, it's more than just going to a Padres game down there. You know, you have that there's a restaurant um, there in the side of the restaurant there, the player's batting cage yeah. is it's a double, it's a mirror to them glass. So you can see what's going on. So not so much 
the reason why I person my personal experience so I'm happy is they made all these changes last season at home play club. Well, the quality of everything has really gone down in my opinion and my guests who I bring say the same thing. It's not just me. The food, um, the food quality has really suffered. They're trying to just do too much. And, you know, so the whole food thing really bummed. And then for some reason this season, the curtain to the batting cage has been closed probably 75% of the time. My, the previous season before that and all the other times I've been to home play club before I signed up for it, that I've never, I didn't even know there was a curtain to close. So that's one of the biggest, like, you know, perks to that whole thing is you can sit there, eat dinner and watch Juan Soto in a batting cage, watch Manny Machado, you know, in a batting cage getting warmed up and they're right there. You know, it's, yeah. it's a really cool experience. And, and so it's just the, the whole quality of things. They've, they've charged us, you know, going into this season, a huge amount and they've taken, it's taken perks away from us. You know, that's the way I see it. And it's just like, that's that's the main reason why I'm really unhappy. You know, I'm I'm a Padres fan. Whether they lo- win or lose, I'm always going to be a Padres fan. Um, so it's just that's my that's my frustration. You know, and I don't know how it is in the United States. I've heard the same thing. You know, just uh, it's not the same as it was when they were trying to get your business. You know, now they 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 think they just have you by the barrel. They have your business, and we can we can cut away some stuff, you know, there's some, you know, other things that they've cut away from the home play club. Um, that's just, you know, to us, like some perks that we had the last two seasons that we didn't get this year. And it's yeah. just like, how's that work? You're charging us, you know, this, you know, that's $400 a game extra. They're charging us for, you know, taking away stuff. So that's, that's been our main frustration. Yeah. And it's, it's, you know, the price increase, I think it would be more okay to fans if they saw the return on that on the field in experiences like you're talking about. Because being in the in my – it wasn't in my season ticket seats because my family has half season. We're in 309. Mm-hmm. But we were – so we were down more in the postseason. But being able to know that, yes, I'm going to be at those games, like that was great. And being in the ballpark for game four against the Dodgers, like – Never going to forget that. That's amazing. But it's not like it's, it, at least this season, it doesn't feel like that's going to happen again. And I know that those that work in the organization, they can't control what happens on the field. But what they can do is control some of the experiences that they give to fans and really value the fans and realize how much time. It's not just the, the tickets that fans are spending on, right? It's it's parking it's food. There's a lot that goes into it. Um, and I get the whole Bally money that, that they're not getting and all that, but I think the organization, it should be in a good enough spot where you can hold off for a year. And if you want to increase it, if the team performs better next year, I think you'd look fans still wouldn't be very excited about that, but they'd sure. be more understanding of it. Right. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I, for sure. I mean, it's, you know, they, they would have made a lot of people happy if they just didn't raise after this gigantic raise, you know, um, just, uh, it, it was just really frustrating. Um, you know, like I said, it's the on-field play was just everything just kind of crashed down this season in my eyes, you know, and, uh, so when I saw that email Monday, I was just livid. My wife was livid. I mean, she's gone to every single game this season so far. I've missed, you know, a handful, but she's diehard. Mm-hmm. And she doesn't plan on missing a game. We live in Oceanside. So, you know, on a weekday, that's an hour and 15-minute drive down the park. And my wife is diehard. She's there every single game. And, and she's really upset about this. And we're seriously debating on if we're going to be able to – if we're going to renew or not, it's, you know, just, I don't, I didn't, I don't feel the, ex- we're having the same experience that we did when we first signed up and having to pay way more money for it now, you know? So we're yeah. going to go from 525 a seat last season to 580 
now. So we started off at 375 a seat times four. We have four seats. The play on the field is a part of it, but it's more of a bigger, the stuff behind our club stuff is, is really what I'm just really, really upset about. 